All right. Um, so now let's switch to access. Okay, so this is access 07, and I've just started it, and what it wants to do is create a blank database. So I've said create liquidpops.accdb. Um, access used to make MDB files, but in Office 07, they switched the default extension to accdb. I'm just going to create a blank database. It doesn't know anything about any data yet. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is import some data. So I'm going to import, in this case, from a text file uh, because I'm going to go back to that CSV file. I can also go to the Excel file I just created and get it from there. But let's just go back to the CSV. So it's asking me where the data is. I'm going to go back to my desktop, get the CSV file. And I'm going to import it into a new table in the current database. So all that's fine if I can find the button. OK. Let's see if I can get that to fit. It won't let me resize this window, so we're going to have to do it this way. Um, I'll move this up so at least we can see the buttons. All right, so it's going to step me through the data. First of all, the data is delimited. Um, if you had fixed width, you would click here, but for us, we're delimited. Uh, that is, delimiting is a separation between columns, and we have commas to do that, so it's comma delimited. I put that there. You can see all these columns are here. So now we're going to step through each um, column and say what we want. So. Uh, I guess we do that next. All right, now we're going to do it one by one. Okay, oh, I made a mistake. See how it says field one? I should have said right here, first row contains field names. Okay, now it knows those are the names and the rest is the data. <clears throat> I'll go back here. So the first column is liquid. That's all right. Second column, see how it says that's an integer? Well, I would like to be able to put any kind of temperature in even with a decimal point. So I'll change that to double. This is double, double, double. And I think for simplicity, I'll skip these last columns. So don't import this one. Don't import this one. Don't import this one. All right. Access likes to add a, you know, an, an ID number. We'll let it do that automatically. And we'll let it call lick call this thing liquid props and we'll just say finish now it's reading in the data it w says would you like to save this it'll it'll sort of save this as a macro for importing if we are constantly importing the same kind of data you could save a style with which you import and just have it do the same thing every time so now I can double click on this table and here's my data it's scrolled off but you can see that it's all in there. All right, now a um, few things you can do uh, with these things. Um, we can create a report right away. In fact, maybe I'll shrink this and shrink this. All right, so we can create a report. And this will automatically create a text document that will summarize our data. And, <clears throat> and um, you can group the data in different ways. So I, like if I don't want to print the ID, I can right click that and delete it. And if I want to um, group by temperature instead of by liquid, which is the way it is now, I could just click group by temperature and then um, then I could add another group and then group by liquid. Okay, so now what we get are all the properties at minus 50. And then if we scroll down, there's minus 40, there's minus 30. So there's lots of different ways to group these. Um, this would be more impressive if I could show you the whole sheet. It sort of breaks it up into an 8.5 by 11 sheet, but but this is good enough for us. Okay. Um, I'm going to close that. The other thing we can do is create queries. And where is it? 
looks different for you. Okay, so we can create. Actually, I just wanted to go create and use the um, new query. So table liquid props is the one we want. So we'll add that in. And then what you can do is you go down here and you pick a field. Let's say liquid. And you can have criteria here. So let's say equals ammonia. Okay. And then let's say we want just temperature and thermal conductivity. Now you can go up here to view and look at the data sheet view. And here it is. That's our data which matches the criteria. Ammonia, all the ammonia data, temperature, and um thermal conductivity. If we just want uh, data above freezing, say, um, we could go back to the design view right here, sorry, and um, say the temperature is greater than zero. Then we have just that. So, you know, it gets to be very easy to um, query your data, make reports, that sort of thing. And that's basically what these databases are good for. All right. Now, I want to show just one more thing. Oh, um, just so you're aware, um, this grouping right here is an export function. And you can export to Word or, I mean, excuse me, to Excel or an RTF file or a PDF all right, so the last thing I want to do is um, use EBA to do a query, All right? So what I've got here, um, here is a formatted sheet uh, with some VBA in it. And what this does is shows me all my data, okay? So ID, liquid temperature, connectivity. And I have a button here that will automatically extract this data from a spreadsheet, okay? I mean, excuse me, from a database. So when I click this button, uh, Excel is going to that access database I just saved and grabbing this data and putting it in the sheet. And once it's in here, then you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm using VBA to grab data from a spreadsheet. and you can do it to grab just pieces of it or to do essentially a query from Excel into into data into um access. And let me just show what those uh look like. So first of all, there's a there's a button that clears data and it runs this macro, clear cells. And what it does um is this first line right here uh basically counts how many um, rows of data I have. So it starts from A4, which is where the first set of data always is. And then it goes to the end, downward, of column A, and it counts the number. All right. So then what I do is I go through each row and then through my eight columns, and one by one I clear the cell. Target sheet dot cells of this comma this clear. And so this little routine just clears whatever data has been added into the sheet. And it's this one that gets the new data. All right. So I call it get liquid data. And um, I dimension a thing called DB liquids as a database. These are uh, data types built into VBA. And then I set, I dimension a record set as RST liquids. And um, what I do is I set uh, ver that DB liquids variable to be the database I just saved, liquiddata.mdb. Uh, this is the old one under the old format. And I expect the database and the, and the this worksheet from which I'll run this to be in the same directory. So I say this workbook.path and then slash liquiddata.mdb. And this holds the whole entire path to our database. And then I just open that. And then I set this record set to be um, the liquid props table from DB liquids. So remember, this is the file name, liquiddata.mdb. This is the table name that was created when I created the database. 
So then I just go through the entire entire database until I get to the EOF, which is end, end of file. And I grab the ID from a, the first record and write it to a sheet at, at the row number that's been um, that's been dictated, which is four for the first one. And then I take the liquid and write that to the next row column over. And then the temperature and all the data. Then I increment the row so the next set of data will be written one row down. And then I move to the next record in the record set, right? So when I when I open this record set, uh, which is what this command does, it starts at the first record. This writes it in. This switches to the next record. And it keeps going until I get to the end of the database. All right. So this loop, or nested loop, writes out all my data one record at a time or one row at a time. And when I get to the end of that, I just close this, the record set, close the database, and then I, I essentially clear those two variables. So this is a pretty simple thing, and you ought to be able to do this for any um, database you have lying around. Just You just have to make sure you get the file name right, the table name right. That has to match the table name within the file. And then you have to get all of these field names just right. Okay, Every space and everything has to be just right, otherwise it will fail. Okay. Otherwise, this is a pretty straightforward way to grab data out of a database, stick it into Excel. All right, so that's basically our overview of how Excel works. Um, you ought to have enough to just essentially toy with them, which is what you're being asked to do for your um, exercises in, in Lesson 3. And so good luck with that, and let me know if you have questions. Um, inevitably, there are students in the class who know quite a bit about databases. So if you get stuck, just post a message in the forum, and, and folks will help out.